Okay, um, so let me uh, introduce our next speaker. Um, he's going to talk about differentiating your mobile applications from the competition. Um, while I do this, um, yeah, so we'll have the computer change while I'm doing this. Um, so our next speaker is Aruna Disanayaka. Aruna is a technology and business visionary with executive and hands-on experience in delivering multi-million dollar solution. He holds an MSc in computer science and a first-class honors degree in computer engineering from University of Maratua. Um, as the director of engineering at uh, Epona, Aruna is responsible for delivering NAS and MCC solution based on company service delivery platform. He is also a visiting lecturer at SLIIT, teaching case studies Module of Enterprise Application Development, MSc program affiliated with Sheffield Halland University, UK. Prior to Apona, he was the head of process and quality of Millennium IT, where he was responsible for the institutionalization of the software engineering methodologies and obtaining ISO 9001 and 2000 certificates. Okay, so let me welcome uh, our presentation. Hope you have uh, enjoyed the session so far. Um, and what I'm going to talk about, as Sanjay mentioned, is how you can differentiate the mobile applications from your competition. Uh, I'm going to talk about this uh, from both operator's point of view as well as the mobile application developer's point of view. Before that, let me briefly uh, explain what Epona is. Um, and I'm not going to take too much time on this. Epona is uh, a software uh, product company uh, founded in uh, 1999, uh, based in uh, both the uh, UK and uh, the US. And our main focus is uh, the uh, telco operators. We have a service delivery platform uh, catering for the telco operators worldwide. And we have uh, 250 uh, plus employees worldwide, uh, including Sri Lanka, we have 120. Um, and uh, in the recent funding round uh, last year, uh, the BlackBerry and uh, SAP Ventures has invested 20, uh, 10 million US dollars uh, in our mobile uh, computing initiatives. And um, our service delivery platform is deployed uh, over 20 service providers globally. And uh, the platform is processing over 1.2 billion Revenue generating transactions per month, resulting in one, over one billion US dollar revenue per annum uh, for operators, application developers, and the service providers. And uh, there are over 2,000 such application developers and enterprises who's using our platform to develop their applications. Uh, so now, uh, moving on to the topic, I would like to briefly touch on the business opportunity available to the mobile application developers and the operators today. So according to the STL uh, research, the uh, revenue based on the value added services and uh, the wholesale platform is going to grow from 23 billion back in 2007 uh, to 375 billion by 2017. So this is a massive revenue opportunity. So we can say the operators today are sitting on a gold mine, but most of them don't know how to tap into this revenue stream, or they don't have the technology to do so. They're just scratching the surface of that gold mine. So uh, what the operators can do in this context can they compete with the likes of Apple and Google, who has 200,000 or uh, 350,000 in App Store um, applications through uh, uh, an approach uh, like Wall Garden uh, application development approach, where you have an in-house development team who's developing uh, mobile applications? No, uh, you can't do that, right? So you need to open up your network, network services to these uh, millions of application developers 
around the globe and then uh, let them develop applications for you. So that is the only way to survive. So you can't uh, compete or shut down yourself from the uh, cloud service providers or the application developers. You need to open up your network. So there are several ways to do that. Uh, you can uh, use uh, some uh, um, public APIs like GSMA uh, one API, or you can even differentiate your uh, services using operator differentiated APIs. So now I'm going to uh, explain how you can attract and keep your subscribers to you and make, uh, by, by making your application smarter, not by uh, forcing your subscribers to use smart devices, but by making your application smarter, uh, you can uh, tap into more of this revenue. So you can't do this just by opening up your SMS and MS capabilities to the application developers. So it's too old. So you need to go beyond that. You need to expose the location services, the voice control, the presence, and the user profile information to uh, the applications. The smart applications will personalize the look and feel and the content based on the user demographics, that is the gender and the age, the spending patterns of the users, and so on. And also, these applications will allow uh, the, applica the, the applications can directly uh, charge you to your uh, mobile bill. Or you can, uh, they can even uh, charge you uh, against your prepay balance, uh, like a Visa uh, service. And also, uh, the smart applications can interact with the subscribers uh, through um, means like uh, the voice, the SMS, and MMS. So now I'm going to walk you through three uh, example applications, smart applications uh, that I call them, uh, to get you an idea what the smart app